Sash, uh, good thing you're here. Um, everything all right? You look kind of spent, if you don't mind me saying. Ran into a recon drone on my way here, but it's been dealt with. You got any news for me? 
I did some digging, made some calls, and I believe I found a code breaker that fits Zoya's specs. Are we going to buy it? We are not exactly well off right now. Yeah, not really. You see, it's not exactly a common tool, and it's highly illegal to have it, unless you're a private army or a security corps. But if a company like that would happen to go bankrupt, all of its assets get frozen, they are then securely stored until all the legal settlements take place. Sometimes that can take years. Luckily for us, there should be a decommissioned military-grade codebreaker stored safely in one of the Yggdrasil archives here in the city. With a few updates and a bit of Zoya's magic, it should be up to snuff. Sounds good. Nice work, Karal. Hey there, girl. That's some shit we found ourselves in, eh, girl? You're new to this, so I'll give you a quick recap, okay? There are people coming after me. My closest partner has been captured. Everyone's on edge. We have little to no money and even less time. And get this. We're searching for this thing. Prototype, they call it. And some people think I stole it, but I have no idea where it is. Which is a problem, you see, because there are some other people who would very much like me to fetch it for them. Ain't that a pickle? What do you think, Louisa? How do we get ourselves out of this, hmm? Yeah, thought so. Bet a clever girl like you wouldn't even end up in a situation like this. But don't you worry. I'll figure it out somehow. Guess I gotta do it like you. Kick some dirt over that shit and move on, right? Yeah, I guess I'll do just that. Thanks, Louisa. You're a sweetheart. Who's the good girl? Who's the good girl? Hi, Zoya. Hey, Alex. Settling in all right? Got everything you need? Yeah, thanks. Chaba provided me with this exclusive space here and helped me get everything set up. I sometimes used to work out of squats in the flooded parts of the city, so this is definitely cozy enough. And Babka Cherniak allowed something like that? Well, she has 12 grandchildren and a lot to take care of, and she's all about tough love and finding your own place in the world, but yes, yeah, she was pissed when she found out. Is she okay with you being here? She knows, right? Oh, she knows all right. There's no way in hell I could join a team like yours without her vetting you first. Oh, I see. She voiced some concerns. But I'm my own person, and I guess you- Hope we won't disappoint. Both of you. So, what do you think about this archive heist? I think it's super cool. Once I'm inside, we can steal much more than just an old code breaker. It's like robbing a shopping mall. Easy there, kid. What do you mean once you're inside? You're going nowhere. You'll stay here on the boat. I will? Well, I mean, the whole place is physically isolated from the grid. You need to be on site to find the exact location of the package. Also, you can't download it without having direct access to the server. So you will have to be in two places at once or move very quickly around a building or something. What's more, it's a Yggdrasil site. So we can assume the grid security will be quite advanced here, which may turn out to be too much even for someone with your abilities. And I can help with that. I thought that stuff like this is why you wanted me on the team in the first place. Yeah, but you have zero experience in the field. And should anything happen to you... Alex, I get it. But I can take care of myself. And you can't really do this one with me sitting on the sidelines. <sighs> Shit. Okay, I'll try to think of something.
Karel. Sasha! Any thoughts on how we should approach this? Do we have the building schematics by any chance? Yeah, the Yggdrasil Archive consists of three buildings. The site underwent some renovation in the mid-2030s. Uh, my source got me the schematics. Uh, they should be almost up to date. We're in luck, as our target should be in the main building with the lowest security. It even has a 24-7 public section and study rooms. So we're talking automated security measures? Few guards, low-level firewalls, stuff like that? Yeah, that's about it. But still, some pretty sensitive data is stored there. So once you trigger the alarm, the whole place will light up like a Christmas tree. Understood. I'll take a look at the schematics and try to put a plan together. I was thinking... You said that our target should fit the specs and should be in the archives? That's a lot of uncertainty for my taste. Well, you see, Yggdrasil archives are basically a remote data vault. There is no way for us to know exactly what is stored there. The paper trail, so to speak, can be traced to the archives, and there are no other records mentioning it since. So it's safe to assume that our codebreaker is still lying there, abandoned and forgotten. Yeah, but if it won't be there, we take unnecessary risks and lose precious time, while still being miles away from our primary goal. I don't like this. Alexandra, you know damn well there are no guarantees in this line of work. I'm working the best I can with the resources we have. The rest is up to you. Sure, if we had more time, more people, and more money, we could play it differently. But frankly, Sasha, with a hand like yours, you are down to small stakes. I did what you asked for, to the best of my abilities. So, if you don't like it, fine. Just say the word, and I'll be on my way. Karel, I... I'm sorry. That was stupid of me. You know I appreciate that you are with me on this. It's all just been a bit much lately. It's not that I'm questioning your abilities. Honestly, I'm questioning mine. Ugh... <sighs> No, 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 I, I get it, I get it. We're all under a lot of pressure these days. I know you didn't mean nothing by it. Sorry for blowing up like that. That wasn't very nice either. Let's forget about it and get back to work. Our target is a decommissioned codebreaker stored on one of the servers in the Yggdrasil archives. To get our hands on it, we need to infiltrate the restricted area in the upper levels and download it manually. The problem is that each server is isolated and accessible only through a dedicated terminal. So we need to pinpoint the exact server with our goods on it first. And how are we gonna do that? Well, we can't access the grid from the outside. That's where you come in, Zoya. You'll enter the public section, posing as a student of environmental sciences. Using a forged ID, you'll register for membership access to the study rooms. Yes! And I will use a study terminal there to crack into the registry and locate the code breaker. Got it. <sighs> right. Meanwhile, I'll make my way into the restricted area in the upper levels, where the servers are located. I download the stuff, hit the elevator down, and no one will be the wiser. I should be able to access their security systems from the same terminal. I can clear out the way for you. But both of you, be extra careful. If anything, and I mean anything, smells fishy, you run for the exit. Capiche? Yes, don't worry. I'll be careful. Right, that's all. Any questions? Good. We leave in 30.
Okay, Zoya. I'm inside the restricted zone. What's your status? Hey, hi. So, I managed to get into the public study rooms more or less without problems. And I found myself a nice little console away from the prying eyes. You said more or less without problems? What do you mean by that? Zoya, if you think you've been made, we need to abort. It's not worth the risk. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Really. No worries. Besides, we need this thing. We may not have another chance like this. All right. But at the first sight of trouble, you let me know, okay? Roger that. Have you managed to find where our target might be stored? Still working on it. Looks like there's some corruption in the index data. But I'll find it. Don't worry. But it is here, right? Well, I mean, it should be. If the intel was good, it's just a matter of finding the right server. But you should definitely try to make your way to the top floors. Sensitive software like this is stored there. Understood. Keep me updated. And be careful. But also hurry up. I can't be seen wandering door to door here until we locate the damn thing.
Hey, you! Stop right there! What do you think you're doing here? Easy there, officer. I'm on official business here. Oh, is that right? Care to show me some credentials? Here you are, officer. I believe everything is in order. I see. Hmm. Well, it checks out. But what business do you have in the restricted area? Why wasn't I informed? That's hardly my problem. I am to make a withdrawal from my server and don't really see a reason to discuss it with you any further. Of course, ma'am. Apologies.
Hey, Alex, I think I got something. Do we finally know where the codebreaker is? Getting there, I managed to narrow it down to servers in Section 6. But there's something else. Yes? Is something wrong? I don't know yet. Something seems off. It seems as if someone was repeatedly trying to send me multiple data packages through the grid. Someone on the inside? Does that mean we're burned? Should we abort? So far, whoever it is, they were helping us. Disabling alert flags, pointing me to the right nodes in the grid and such. That sounds strangely convenient. I don't like this, but we proceed with the plan. We're too close to turn back now. Understood. I'll try to trace the source. Let's focus on the primary objective. And Zoya? Yes, yes. Be careful, I know. Any intel about the security up ahead? You could use the maintenance corridor to proceed. I was able to disable the security there. Oh, nice work. Thanks.
Zoya, I'm in Section 6, looking at a lot of servers over here. Care to narrow it down? I pinpointed the package to the server 2501. But Alex, wait! What is it? We're a little against the clock here. That odd communication I mentioned earlier? I traced its source, and it's either originating or it's being rerouted through that exact server. What? Okay, what does that mean? It means it could be a trap. Once you log into that console, it could trigger like a million countermeasures and we're toast. I can try to manually bypass that. I'm going upstairs. You were doing no such thing, Zoya. Stay where you are. You said it yourself. We're too close to turn back now. Zoya out. No, Zoya! Shit!
Alex, I bypassed the server defenses. Package download in progress. Shit, I set off multiple alarms. I'll try to disable them, but we've got incoming. Of course we do. I'll deal with that.
How's that download going, Zoya? We have to go. Download complete. But wait, that's strange. What is it? This is not what we were looking for. We've been played. It's Good evening. May I suggest we leave the premises? There are multiple hostels incoming. Ah, oh, shit.